today I am out doing a little antiquing in a small town of like 20 people. So it's close to where I live and they have just this antique store shops just on this little main street drag. Seriously, it's like so run down. I'll have to show you. But the husband has the girls for a little bit while they nap and I'm really probably just gonna be here for an hour or so. But I thought you would enjoy seeing these little antiques and this really small town um, shopping experience. Number, it's number 13 because it's different sellers, oh. that's why. But yeah, it's still 10 99 I mean, Olds, too, are really popular, too, to cook like the farmhouse. That's so expensive. You are right. Mm -hmm. I think you are right. Careful with that. You gotta keep it in front of you. Yep, okay? right in front of you. Yeah, like one like this, I could even an antique store I would find it for four dollars. Nope, not without us. We will in a little bit. I think they separate them all out. All these old utensils, steak net. Oh, they're not probably all old. <laughs> oh. She's curious about. <laughs> Oh, 20 is it too bad? Okay, 
let's put it back. Let's oh, read what it, I think so. It says set of two dumbbells. Yep, half a pound. <laughs> <laughs> In our little house. Oh yeah? Just a little. I guess 110, that would be why, huh? Put it in the chairs. You found a baby? Yep. Yep, lots of vintage babies. Oh my. Yeah. 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 Is it echoey? Yeah. Yeah. That's a bit cool. That's kind of a fixed. But you can still make a lot of money off of salvage. Yep. 35, yeah. <laughs> Old grades and... 24, yeah. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> I have this plate at home. I have this plate at home. <laughs> yeah. I just had, like, I had my soap dispenser on it. back from my few outings they were at two different times the first one I'll share just very informally here what I got I didn't get a whole lot uh, when I went out by myself to this really small town and then I went to my sister's town and got a few things at one antique store there it was like the most expensive antique store I think I've ever been to so I just got a couple iron stone plates to put in my um, vintage booth at the antique store I have a um, little shelf at. So I'll share those with you. So glad you could come antiquing with me and here's my little mini haul. Alright so here are my plates first. They're really pretty like the detail around the edge there. They were 95 cents a piece so pretty good deal. And here is what the back says. So I will stick this one in my booth. And then I got two of these. Although these would be really pretty to display food on for my blog. But they're very chipped up if you see on the edge there. But so it goes with old plates. And they have the wear and fading on it. So that's from the antique store with my sister. All right, then here are my next pieces from the small town antiquing. This is a really pretty green color. And it's got like a little, um, it's just got like a little bowl type platter with some detailing on the edges. It is so beautiful. I did pay six for this, but so, so pretty. This would actually be really pretty to display for spring and summer. So I don't know if I'll keep this one or not, but it's just so beautiful. Okay, then I got a stack of all these plates here. How many ever that is? All these little mini bowls. These are like little curry and Ive sets. And this little creamer, which I've sold already one of these before. All of that was $3, so I thought that was really good. And there's like no chipping on any of these. They are cute blue. They'd be great for decorating at Christmas time or in spring because like a boat, a ship, would be really pretty. Or a tugboat. What is that? Steamboat. But that'd just be really pretty for spring and summer too. It has blue. And then all the pictures are the same. But $3 for this whole stack plus this other plate of six. So $9 at that little excursion. So fun little outing there. 